What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. We have a Unified Minds build and battle box, as well as four additional Unified Minds packs. And I want to talk a little bit more about pre ordering and um, kind of like my experience. This is kind of like the awkward time when. Uh, so, yesterday I got an email <clears throat> that said that, oh, your hidden fate stuff is shipped out. And I was so excited. So this is from Game Nerds, and they're pretty good. But the um, essentially the pin collection comes out on Friday, and according to the shipping information, I won't get it till Monday. So that's kind of disappointing. And I feel like usually when a set comes out, I'll go to somewhere else just to pick up some on release day, just because it takes a little bit to get it. And then sometimes eBay sellers are a little bit better. Um. However, I got another email today that said, oh, my Hidden Fate stuff has shipped. Expe expe uh, expected delivery date is like September. <laughs> Early to mid-September, actually. So, all right, sorry about that. I had to stop the recording for a second. I thought the, there were some sync issues. Oh, this box is actually pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, my the stuff I bought on eBay won't be here till September. So I'm not terribly happy about that. I mean, I, I'll get it eventually. Uh, but I guess I was kind of like hoping for uh, to get it at a reasonable time towards uh, Friday. And actually, this is the first time I've opened one of these. And um, we have a Amoongus, Bursting Spores, when we Pokemon Spore Attack. I did face a deck that used this in with Breloom, just because his attack for one energy does, I think it was 120 damage. And then you basically use Amoongooses to keep your opponent asleep. Uh, so it's kind of cool. Ultimately, I, since I do run a Reshizar deck, I was able to win, uh, but it was a pretty cool mechanic, and we'd have four packs in here. Pretty cool box. Um, but yeah, so I want to just take this video to kind of like ask you guys, you know, what is has your pre-order experience been for the various sets, and kind of like what are your favorite places to pre-order from that you have good experience. The thing that I'm particularly interested in is like, you know, which vendors, if any, are good about getting you product that you pre-ordered on release day. And so the one place I usually buy from Game Nerds, like, that would be my, not even complaint, it's not even, I would say it's, uh, makes sense that they don't ship it until release, so therefore I get it, you know, a good half a week later. And for our first pack, we have a Victini, I think this card, eh, I don't think it's that good. Uh, the only time I've gotten things kind of like uh, on release day, actually one time I got it before release day, day early, is when I ordered from Sports and More, the eBay store. However, I'm not sure what's going on with them. Their store is a cent not down, but there's no items for sale. Uh, some people asked about it on Reddit, but I didn't really get any real confirmation of what the situation is. If you happen to know anything about that, let me know in a comment down below. Um, but yeah, and then... The only thing I want to share with you guys is uh, this is kind of like a silly thing, but the reason I have these this box is uh, before Unified Minds came out, you know, and, and people were doing like their pre-release stuff. I was kind of jealous because I don't really go to those, and so I did see we have a Latias regular rare. I did see that they had some on Game Nerds, and for some reason, I, actually I've done this multiple times where I just ordered some and expecting that. It could be shipped out during pre-releases, so that's a week ahead of time. Uh, but however, the release date was the same day as the rest of the set releases, which was, I think it was August 2nd. Um, so, and then like, I also ordered some boxes, so I had those, so I might as well open those. And I had a few of these, I <laughs> wasn't sure what to do with them. <clears throat> uh, but not a cautionary tale, but kind of just a silly story, silly situation on my part where I thought I was trying to pre-order something to get it ahead of time, and no, I did not. Um, all right, we have a Giratina. This is not the Giratina everyone's playing with, with the Dimension Door. Super annoying deck where you just constantly fight Giratinas that are always hitting for 130, and it just keeps coming back on the discard pile. Super annoying. And then we have an Archeops. Um, this box is not treating me too well. I do like this box. Might be used that for some storage but uh yeah no good pulls so far 
And uh, yes, if you guys have not entered the Hidden Fates giveaway yet, definitely check out the video from Sunday. And here's that Breloom with the Pre-Dawn Strike. If your opponent's active Pokemon is asleep, it does 90 plus damage. Pretty cool mechanic. I like it when there is some decks that have pretty cool synergies like that, even when they're not the best. It's kind of cool. In fact, like, I kind of prefer it that way where if that was top tier with some specific mechanic like that, I feel like it's either just there's a very thin line between just competitive enough where you can try it, but it might not, but everyone's not running it to if it's a little bit stronger, then it's overpowered and it just gets abused. Oh, another regular rare Zerga Tree. So good thing we bought our four additional packs uh, just because, yeah, that was a bust of an opening. But we got some more. See if we can't redeem this opening. All right, I apologize for any audio issues that this video will have. Um, notice again that most likely there is some lag. And uh, so hopefully it's fixed now. I just reset the, the computer. But, uh, and I totally lost my train of thought. And, but essentially I do, I do understand sometimes I have audio issues and it's kind of tricky because I feel like the phone that's recording this and the face cam that also handles the audio because it has a good mic, um, they feel like they have slightly different, not frame rates, but basically re recording rate. So it's not entirely sync, like in the beginning it's in sync and that's kind of how I sync my audio. And then over time it skews very little. And, all right, so we have three packs left and for our first one, we, oh, nice. Wait a minute. I think I might've already had one of these. But I think this is a pretty good one, uh, and it's kind of ironic because I feel like as far as the pricing goes on the secondary market, this one's actually pretty good. But while playing PTCGO, I've never faced a oh, this this card, a deck that uses this card. So to be honest, I'm not sure why the the price is pretty good. Maybe I don't think it's because it's Raichu and it's popular. Uh, I feel like Raichu was never even close to the popularity that Pikachu was. Um, yeah, if you know what's up with this card, like, and yeah, it's very... Man, what are the chances you pull the same Rainbow Rare multiple times? But uh, alright, very happy with that. That was not in this box, um, but very good pull nonetheless. It did redeem this opening, which was my goal, and we saw three more packs. But uh, let's try to regain what we were talking about. Um, yeah, let me know what your own thoughts on pre-ordering was and if you had had any horror stories. I know a lot of people that have been letting me know in comments saying that, you know, they're from Australia and how much of a pain it is to get product in general, pre-order or not. And heard people talking to me, telling me that their pre-orders have been canceled. You know, what vendors is that for? Because, you know, I think it's... I would like to stay away from those and it, I think it's a good idea just to share with everyone else you know your experience and or especially the good ones and the bad ones I guess too so we can kind of like avoid or look to purchase from those same vendors so let me know what your experiences has been and where you've had success with. I think for myself besides game nerds um, yeah sports and more which is not really available anymore and that's primarily it. I shop sometimes off Troll and Toad, but that's more for singles and stuff like that. And a couple other online stores, but nothing that I use too often. And not really for pre-orders. Sometimes I buy stuff off Drop.com, but that's more of on the Magic the Gathering side, less so Pokemon. Well, I think I bought some Burning Shadow stuff there at one point. We have a Requinid. I think I see something behind this card. Let's say, boom! A Naganadal GX. I have to admit, this card did not do as well as I was hoping. I feel like it does have a pretty cool ability. Once in your turn, you may discard an Ultra Beast and then draw three cards. Um, you know, it's kind of like Heat Factory, only you don't need to fight over the stadium. Like, it's so annoying when I replace my opponent's stadium and then they just have another one. And for the Ultra Beast, they have the... Uh, so that card combined with Ultra Space, that's an insane draw engine. So I feel like that card had a lot of potential, but I very rarely see it. It's Venom Shot. I believe it's do 170 to anything. Yeah, so I feel like that card, that ability could be kind of cool, but maybe just this meta is too 
you know, whatever's in the active, uh, needs to just go out swinging, doing like 200 plus damage or using an ability that will prevent you from taking damage next turn. But all right, we're on our last pack in this kind of odd opening. Um, and thanks for all the support, guys. Uh, I did manage to convince Amy to do a bunch of openings with me, and you know, the reception was very nice. Um, all right, for our last pack, we have a Reverse Fletchling, and then an Oon Pheasant. So nothing there, but uh, the box was a bust, but we did re uh, redeem ourselves with a couple good hits with Naga Nail GX, and then boom! A Raichu Alolan Raichu GX Tag Team. Not sure why this card's <laughs> doing well as far as in the secondary market. If you know what's up, let me know in a comment down below. But uh, yeah, thanks so again for watching everyone, and make sure you get enter that giveaway if you not or have not already. Uh, a couple people asked, and we might we'll probably do another one. Um, I don't want to commit to it yet, just because I actually want to make sure I get some product for myself and. Uh, I actually want to make sure I can get some, uh, just because I know that my pre-orders won't be here for a little bit. But uh, Friday is coming up. Uh, hopefully, I can get some at a local, like a LGS or a Target or something. And uh, so, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.